I bet you guys that most of you guys don't know the major advantages of tripods. What's up everybody, welcome to this week episode. Today we're going to do something different. But first, let me thank all the people supporting me and viewing this channel. I really appreciate your feedback and your support. And I really had some good conversations with you. So I wanted to continue these good con conversations and wanted to motivate you guys to contact me, ask me questions, give me some feedback say what you love about my episodes and what you don't like and if you like this episode give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos subscribe to my channel we're going to do something different for two reasons first of all i had to send in my camera for maintenance and it's quite hard to do photography without a camera some of you would know that and i had to send it in because i've got two major photo trips coming up one is to finland next month and the other one is going to tuscany i'm really thrilled with that one to tuscany and i hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as i do yeah the other reason is the reason i got motivated for this episode and so two weeks ago i did this video and i found out afterwards that sand and seawater is not the best combination for a tripod so it broke down but this thing was made by the company called vanguard they're doing high quality tripods and they really appreciate their services i called them up and they said just send it in we're going to repair it or replace it totally without any fees charged that's that's super cool so thumbs up for vanguard there and yeah, I started thinking, what can I do next? So I've decided I want to do a, at least an episode on tripods and how I got my tripod and what mistakes I made in the beginning and what I think are the essential characteristics for tripods or when it comes to buying a tripod. So let's get into the topic, tripods. How did I get my first tripod? So I got my camera and then I wanted to do a little bit more long exposures. So I was kind of naive and went to the next electronic store. That's what every guy does. And I bought a tripod for about 20 bucks. It was within a day that I found out that this little tripod, those 20 bucks were not well spent money because it was wanky. It was everything that a tripod shouldn't be. Except for heavy, it was a quite light one, but we'll get to that what to use tripods for um i attendantly used mine to want to create some long exposures but after that i discovered that tripods give you so much more opportunities in landscape photography of course tripods are there to give you stability during your shots but even if you're shooting in good light conditions and you could take the photo handheld with your camera I would still go for tripod because it slows you down. So you, you, what I do is I'm going around looking through the viewfinder of my camera and composing the scene. And then I have my frame I want to lock and then I grab my tripod and mount my camera on it and I locked the frame on it. So with this set I, I had half the camera on the tripod with the composition locked there and i can my hands are now free i don't have to help the camera anymore and also can take a step back and think about the composition and that's a major advantage when it comes to produce high quality landscape photography you always have to know what you're shooting you always have to think about what you shoot so the tripod is one way to give you that opportunity to have a second or even five seconds to think about your image before you take it. So what do I have to pay attention when I wanted to buy one? Now it really depends on what are you using it for. So if you're more like a hiking person who climbs mountains and such stuff, you surely won't 
pay attention to the weight of the tripod. A person who would like to shoot more in the water, like waterfalls or rivers or something like that, you are interested in getting a waterproofed uh, tripod because what happened to my tripod now is I took this video three weeks ago about um, the sunset at the beach and I've got sand into the leg segments of my tripod and also I've got seawater in there and that's not the perfect combination for aluminum. Back to the stability. So the stability of a tripod not only depends on the tripod itself. So the tripod is composed out of the uh, ball head up here and then you have the legs which are built up out of several segments. So if you have your tripod what you really want to have is stable leg segments and then on the top which you can buy separately and I would highly recommend to buy one separately if there isn't a good one on your tripod right now is the ball head. So I've got a ball head here this is the one I'm using it's quite a big one um, but it is able to carry the weight of my Canon 5D Mark III with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens on it and that's that's necessary because I want to use this advantage I explained before. I want to lock the composition on there and not frame it afterward again. Because if I lock this ball head here, then this ball head is tight. It doesn't sink afterwards like slowly like cheap ones. And what, what else is out there? We've got those, maybe you see those. That's what I started with. It's, um, it's like a pistol grip. Um, ball head I think it's it's more faster you can uh, like pull in the grip back here and then can compose your image but I think it's definitely more faster than the ball head over here but I think it's uh, less accurate than it because you you don't do not control the camera uh, directly. So when it comes to weight it is more like a price, price question because there are several tripods out there which are made of aluminum which are quite good and but if you want to save weight on this you still have the option to go for carbon fiber like tripod and I really love those. But the disadvantage of carbon fiber they are more lightweighted but if you go out for a situation where you have strong winds you have to think about hanging some weight on your tripod because it is so lightweight then it is more riskly to fall over so you have if you build it up and found your composition you have to uh, hang something on there mostly most of the times there are small hooks underneath the tripod you can hang a weight on there like your camera bag or something else to give it more stability during those situations. What's next is the size. I'm traveling a lot and I have to take my tripod with me and trains, planes, uh, cars, etc. You really want to have a small packing size. You can carry equipment with you into the cabin. To find a tripod like this, there are, uh, there are special travel tripods out there. Most of them are trying to solve this size problem while increasing the number of leg segments. But again, those are more, most often more expensive and you really have to think about if you really need this small size yeah I think one other advantage of tripods is the ability to get low to the ground in most of the tripods you can dismount the middle segment turn it upside down and then hang your camera in there I love this feature and I'm using it a lot because when I'm composing a landscape shot I mostly use wide-angle lenses and you always want to have something interesting in the foreground of your image to make it more interesting for your observer. So when it comes to wide-angle lenses, 
point of interest in the foreground has to be very close to the lens otherwise it is too small most of the times you have to get really low <clears throat> to get this point of interest in the foreground of your image so to conclude this today episode um, why do you have to get a tripod in landscape photography why are they so important because they give you stability and the payless opportunity to slow down your photography process and take a step back and think about the image before you take it but they come with some disadvantages uh, in terms of they bring extra weight to your equipment and they need some place for it i would love to hear what are you guys using your tripod for us and what are your favorite features of your tripods just write it down into the comments i would love to hear it also is if you like this episode give it a thumbs up share it and of course subscribe to my channel for next week i'm currently working on a storage system for my camera equipment next week i'm going to introduce it if you're at the moment storing your camera equipment simply on a shelf uh, or on the floor in your bags stay tuned for next week i'm going to show you some awesome storage opportunities for your, for your camera equipment you can easily do it yourself and yeah stay tuned see you next week Thank you.